Welcome, beautiful seeker. Thank you so much for joining me at this special, special nodes project that I've had in mind and heart to do for quite some time. If you're new to my channel, my name is Morgane, and this is the existential shift. So let's say you are watching the Taurus Scorpio nodes video. It doesn't matter if your north node is Scorpio or your north node is Taurus. What matters is you're on that axis. You're either a north node Scorpio or a south node Scorpio. You're either a north node Taurus or a south node Taurus. And this is just an example. Maybe you're watching for Sagittarius Gemini. Maybe you're watching for Capricorn Cancer. Maybe you're watching for Pisces Virgo. Maybe you're watching for Leo Aquarius. Who did I miss? Maybe you're watching for um, Aries Libra. Okay, it doesn't matter. Watch for your axis. Now, why is that? But more again, so south and north node are supposed to be different. Well, yeah, but everything is supposed to be different. But bottom line, we're also a wholesome manifestation of all our separate separate aspects of our psyche and soul, etc. And that wholesome manifestation is divinity. If you look at a chart that has the 12 zodiac signs or 13, depending on you know by which astrology you go by. So there are 12 separate houses for the different zodiac signs that express different things within your life. But the center of that cycle, just like with anything else, is the divine, wholesome entity that is either God, goddess, cosmos, universe, source, however you'd like to describe it. And the metonymy of it, the microcosmos of it, will be you. You are everything in your chart and the journey to that core to that center goes through these different um, aspects of your human condition specifically with the north and south node and by the way this can apply also to your sun sign and the other side of its axis why because our sun sign is where the sun was when we were born but the other side of it is our earth sign. So again, to take the Taurus Scorpio example, if you are sun sign Taurus, you are earth sign Scorpio. So just like in the north and south node, you aspire to be the north node or aspire to become and you view yourself as your sun sign, but you come from, you were born on your earth, on earth. Hello, you're still here this lifetime anyway it's in, it's 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 your core essence it's part of your essence where you come from same with the south node okay so if we talk about the south node and the north node as the south node be where our soul comes from in reincarnations or if you don't believe in reincarnation then you can think of it as your childhood background right your south node is the typecast that you're used to portraying if your south node is in Scorpio, you've been a Scorpio for many lifetimes, not necessarily the zodiac sign Scorpio, but your essence, your behavior patterns, you are very familiar with the typecast of your south node. And you probably portray these characteristics, not just in the past lifetime, but also when you came here in this lifetime through your childhood. Because pretty much before our Saturn return, at around 30-ish years old, we behave as our karma, as the cycles that we have been playing and portraying thus far. But the thing is, I don't look at it as, okay, I need to let go and leave the south node and go toward the north node and have this to be the new and that to be the released old. Kind of, but not so much. Because coming back to the explanation about the wholesomeness and, and divinity and our wholesome soul being at the core of the chart or of the cycle or of everything, when we release the South Node, it never actually goes away. So the point is not about releasing it per se, 
or turning our back to it. The point is having mastered the archetype of our South Node, having mastered the character behavior patterns. We've, we are taking them and transmuting them into the manifestation of our life path based on the North Node sign. So we might be saying goodbye to the manifestation of a life path that is based on the South Node, but we are not releasing the mastery and the skill and the knowledge and the energy of that sign. It will always be a part of us. And the South North Node's access, you know, it's, it's the tail and the head of a dragon. It's the beast in us, the glorious beast, the magical, life-living, life-giving entity that has fire within and creates its life. Wherever our head goes, our tail comes with us. So this is a special project for union within the self when it comes to our energy, our soul, our spirit, and our extra tapping into our witchy vibe. You want to manifest, you want to create, you want to do great things. You got to work with your energy, all of it. It's transmutation, not separation. We are here to unite our South and our North node. And yes, lead a life that is more based and look like the North node, because that's what the soul came to experience now or wants to experience further on. But the closer we get to unity, the closer we get to source, the more we embrace all the different aspects within us. Practicing unconditional love and self-love is taking ourselves into ourselves with love. Not with judgment, not with separation, not with dismissal. This is not, oh, how do I get rid of the South Node and finally move on to my North Node? By thinking this way, you will not. That's the irony. So I want to help us change the mindset, rewire it, because right now we live in an extra polar world. Not because it is now new, it's been polarized, it's been separated within humanity's consciousness. But in order for us to heal and go into unity consciousness, we need to acknowledge and be aware of what it is we need to resolve and work on. We've been talking about unity and harmony and peace at the very least since the 60s. But we couldn't really get there because we were so dual and polarized and separate in mind. So we talk about healing, we talk about unity, we talk about peace. We can't really do that as long as we're so fragmented. Even in astrology, let's get rid of the South Node. No. So the world is now bringing up to the surface in a very in our face way, just how polarized we are, just how separate from one another we are, and just how much we have deta detached from our heart and from empathy, true empathy. Not coercive, abusive, narcissistic empathy, <laughs> true empathy. And in order to, for us to understand what it is that we need, need to do to heal, everything is bubbling up to the surface, right? When you pour water with soap on the floor, all the dirt comes out and you see it. You have to mop it out first. So that's what our society is going through now. A very important note, again, before we go into your reading, this is a long intro, I understand, but it's important. This is timeless, meaning whenever you are guided to watch this video for your access, for your North and South Node access or Sun Earth access, it can apply to both. 
that's the time for you to hear it. So it doesn't matter if you're watching this the day I upload this or a year from now or 10 years from now. This is the time for you to watch this. This is the time when your soul feels ready for unification. So congratulations on that. I'm very happy that we found each other and I hope this helps. If you want to know your North and South node in case you're new to astrology and you're not familiar, I will link below links to websites that are free. You can just put in your day of birth, your, your place of birth, specifically for North and South node. You don't need to know your time of birth, but it's helpful to put that as well if you know it because it will show you many other aspects of your chart. Okay? So without further ado, let's get into it. Thank you. Taurus and Scorpio nodes, north or south, slash sun sign. Respectfully, I am so excited. Thank you for being here, beautiful seeker. Pre-shuffled, pre-pulled, did not look at the cards. We are discovering them together. This is your Taurus energy, respectfully, be it your south node or your north node, you know. This is your Scorpio energy, respectfully, be it your south or north node, I don't know, you know. If your sun sign is either Taurus or Scorpio, so if your sun is in Taurus, it will be here. If your, if your sun is in Scorpio, it will be here, and so on and so forth. These applies to you, to your chart personally, your north and south node, but it also applies to the collective. So if you want to know what goes on with the collective when the north node is either in Taurus or Scorpio, and the south node respectfully, you can watch this as well, this applies. And if you're in a time where you're watching this or the nodes, the collective nodes, nodes are in different signs and you wanna know what goes on with the collective, feel free to jump over there afterwards and watch that one too for that. Um, if you wanna know what goes on with the collective on a monthly basis, so let's say right now the sun is in Scorpio. So this could apply to what goes on with with the collective when it comes to integrating its Scorpio energy with its Taurus energy in this month of Scorpio season. And now this is timeless. I don't know when you're tuning in. I just gave an example and you apply it to when you're watching. Okay, great. So as I said, Taurus, Scorpio, conclusive, concluding message from the South Node, concluding message from your North Node. Conclu concluding message for the integrated, transmuted energy of both signs. And finally, message from spirit to conclude all of it. What is this, you ask? This is a major arcana that I shuffled from my um, big tarot deck. I also didn't look at it. We're discovering them together. This will be message from spirit as to what sort of energy work and spiritual homework you can do to help you get through the process of integrating and unifying within you the energy of your south and north node, respectfully the Taurus Scorpio. Okay? We will flip it at the end. So stay tuned. That's exciting. Okay, without further ado, I know it's been a long intro, the first one and now this, but it needed to be explained, you know? Okay. Your Taurus nodes mind, six of pentacles. Scorpio node mind, seven of sword. Taurus node heart, eight of cups. Scorpio node heart, nine of pentacles. Taurus nodes, active force in the world from within you, the death card, and eight of wands. We like seeing a Scorpio card here in the Taurus. There's, a, there's already a level of integration. Active force from the Scorpio node, queen of cups, and ace of pentacles. Where your Taurus node and energy feel like it stands. King of Wands and the Justice card. And the Scorpio stands 
Three of Cups, Nine of Wands. Okay. Just to point out something interesting, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine of wands. Oh, we'll open them. Stay tuned. <laughs> I will sip water and coffee as we go. Okay. Interesting. Two eights, two nines. The Scorpio energy, your Scorpio node, be it south or north, is very, how should I say? It is enticing and it is calling on and pulling on the Taurus node. It's like, hey Taurus node, psst, look how good we have it here. <laughs> look how much we gain. Look how enticing we are. Look how much people do as we say when we plan things right and when we pick up on their fears and needs and give them what they need. Hey Taurus, come here. What's all these words of justice and truth? There is no one truth. It's all in the fields. Giving? Yeah, we should give, but what are we getting in return? Being flexible with our heart hmm. but then we don't get everything we want changing to fit the tides and to fit the times but look how great things are the way they are Who is this that tells you that things could be different? They just want to take from us. Don't give them. Oh, you've mastered the Scorpio energy, all right, whether it's your south node or your north node. Because you love the Scorpio energy in you. Rightly so. It's powerful. It's beautiful. It is of great service. It not only knows the truth, it knows how to use the truth. And your Taurus energy, on the other hand, you know the truth, but you don't want to use the truth. Or should I say you don't want to accidentally abuse the truth. Because you think to yourself, at one point the luck runs out, at one point there is consequences to bear. Yes, it's working, it has been working, and it's glorious, but at, one, at which point will spirit come and say, pay up?
pay up. What you thought you could only take and receive energy because you know so much? You've been given knowledge, you've been given wisdom, you've been given charisma, intensity, power. When you want something, you know how to get it, the Scorpio in you. To a point of short Taurus, let's integrate. However, let's make sure that I'm on the outer peel, says Scorpio. You can be inside of me, no worries. I'll keep you safe. But stay inside and not outside, just in case you want to talk about equality and justice and freedom for all again. Because you know, where will it leave us? If we take the lead and guide the world into transformation, we can't party every night. We can't only think of ourselves. We have other people to worry about. I mean, are you sure you want that, Taurus? They'll just take advantage of you again. They'll just take and not give. Oh, this King of Wands, this seems to be your good karma that wants to love you and give you everything you've ever given. Sure, we'll have them around. They seem to have a lot of good energy to enjoy. But we should be very cautious about giving back. Remember what happened in the past when we gave and we gave and we gave? And we were left to die. Remember we were left to die? Because we were good and just and giving? There is a reason why I'm mastering your chart. I am your protector. If weren't for me, you'd be dead in the gutter. I picked you up. I gave you life. I gave you power. I taught you how to never let them do this to us again. Yes, it's different times. Yes, they went through their karmas and energy work and atonement and Maybe there are people around us that don't want to take advantage of us. Maybe they just want to hear our truth. Yes, maybe, but maybe not. So how about we just stay right here? What are you listening to this integration thing about? Yes, I already have you integrated in me. But never forget who's the boss, says your Scorpio node. Or energy or sun sign or... The opposite of the sun sign or whatever. Oh, it has been ruling and has been ruling well and has been ruling for a reason, but the Scorpio in you is waking up. It's waking up to its connection to not only its own body and its own survival and its own womb, it's connecting to the body and the survival and the womb of Earth, which Taurus represents. Taurus within you is Gaia, it's planet Earth, it's nature, it's all the animals, it's all the children, it's all the mothers. It's the holy sacred cow in India, the holy sacred red cow for the Jews, and so on and so forth. The divine feminine. And the Divine Feminine is in a constant cycle of life and death, of giving and receiving, and it balances it out perfectly to infinity. The scale are always equal. Not one cup above. Scorpio energy within you has risen the Scorpio energy within the, I'm sorry, the Taurus energy within you to be able to remember your archetype, your role. 
but now it's also kind of keeping it at bay. Yeah, sure, know your power, Taurus, but don't forget mine and don't ever share it. Now, a note for more gain here, taking myself outside of this uh, intense conversation and monologue, but <laughs> the Scorpio monologue. Whew. Um, it's okay to receive, it's okay to have. Taurus is the I have. Scorpio teaches you how to get what you have, okay? However, once you have, okay, what did the scale say? How much do you keep? How much do you give? Now, if the Scorpio in you is as strong as it, as it is here, and it's very strong, it's been speaking ever since, the Taurus has been quiet. The Taurus has been speaking to me through the Scorpio's words. But the Taurus in you has given room and power and reins for the Scorpio in you for far too long. Not that there's any wrong with the Scorpio energy here. It's brilliant. And it has risen you from the gutter. Past lifetimes, childhood, wherever. And it has smacked the shit out of people who took advantage of you. And it is worthy of a lot of gratitude and a lot of love and a lot of respect. This is, once again, not about denying any of them. It's about integrating them, finding the balance. Currently, the Scorpio in you, king of the world or queen of the world, including at the expense of little cute Taurus. Little cute Taurus is not little and not cute. Little cute Taurus gives life to everything. You are Demitar. You are the great mother. Without life, there is no death. The empty matter is not empty or any or of any meaning without matter, without content, without a body to take it with. You go out to life with trust and with faith and with energy and something happens and you run back to Scorpio mommy, which is very much, you know, Rapunzel's mommy. Something quite narcissistic. There's something very narcissistic about currently about your Scorpio energy. It has so much power. There is so much power in, in you seekers. When, wherever you have Scorpio, you are invincible. Wherever you have Scorpio in your chart right now, you are absolutely invincible. However, where you have Taurus, this is the sleeping beauty, the sleeping princess who's going to at any point wake up and discover that it's that she's Daenerys Targaryen, Targaryen mother of dragons. It's a goddess sleeping while her Scorpio aunt or mom or archetype or inner survival mechanism is holding the fort, guarding her at all costs. Again, super protective, super loving, super powerful, teaches you a lot, gives you a lot. But if anyone dares to get anywhere near you, Taurus, even if it comes with love and good intention and, and they say the littlest wrong thing, this tiger rips them to shred with one word or with one eye roll or with one short silent treatment. They're like terrified. There's something about your energy that is so powerful. Listen, guys, Taurus Scorpio is an exceptionally powerful axis, exceptionally powerful. It is the life and the death. Is there anything more powerful than that pole? The Taurus within you is constantly facing Scorpio energies in your life that are manifestation of the Scorpio within you. You're probably dealing with powerful manipulative people 
who talk like they have, you know, your best interest at heart, while they just want to keep you calm and quiet and cute. Because this Scorpio energy does not want Taurus to know how powerful it is. Because Taurus gave birth to Scorpio. It doesn't matter if the Scorpio here is older, stronger, whatever. Seemingly stronger. It's not that the Scorpio energy is stronger than the Taurus energy as much as the Scorpio energy is less timid or worried about using its power. Because if you're, if the Taurus, sorry, not you, it's both of you, it's you, but if the Taurus is more powerful than Scorpio, but Taurus doesn't use its power because it's afraid of how it will affect others, then even if Scorpio is half as strong, but really knows how to really master it and really knows how to work it, they have Taurus in their pocket, right? But the Taurus in you really needs to wake up and not constantly let things slide. Your heart is so tender and gentle wherever you have Taurus and that, you know, you have the Taurus spirit. If you have the access of Taurus Scorpio nodes, this is your soul's access. And your path to God is through these polarities. But your heart is so tender and loving that you just let it go and you let it go and you let it go and you let them and you let them and you let them. And every time you let a manifestation of the Scorpio in you in the, in the form of a person or a situation get their way, the Scorpio in you feeds off of it and does not let you blossom good intentions yes protection when you blossomed in the past when you tapped into the divine feminine in you and it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman Taurus is the divine feminine when you tapped into the divine feminine in you very evil powerful forces did everything in their power to bury you quite literally you have been underground many lifetimes you have spoken the truth and been buried for it many lifetimes this has been developing for a very long time yes you have created a monster Just check my battery to see that I still have time. Okay. I might have to grab my charger so the camera doesn't turn off. This is a beautiful monster. This is a glorious monster. This is a loving monster. When I say monster, I don't mean evil. This is not this Scorpio is, is in you is not evil. It's just, it's just it's so exceptionally powerful and, and has. You know, it 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 was birthed in order to maintain the safety of the Taurus to allow Taurus to heal. To grow and to come back, and rule. And again, it doesn't matter if this is your North Node or your South Node. We're, we're, to, we're talking in a cycle now. This is, this is the journey of integration and unification. Go to the part in your chart where you have Scorpio and Taurus. And as long as this energy is doing that, where you have Scorpio, will continue collecting karma even if you constantly win even if this energy constantly wins and constantly receives it's counted and who will suffer from this eventually who will pay the price got it right the Taurus in you 
every time the house of Scorpio wins, the house of Taurus loses. Why? Because your house of Scorpio is competing with your house of Taurus. And they're not supposed to compete. They're supposed to work together. But the house of Taurus constantly lets it slide, lets Scorpio energy win. Because Taurus remembers that when T Scorpio wins, Taurus is safe. And Taurus, remember when it's Scorpio loses, Taurus gets buried. But that's the trauma of the past. That's the karma that we need to move away from. Let me bring the charger. Now, I say move away from, and you automatically think, oh, move away from the south node to the north node. Again, don't think in those terms. We're not moving away from one aspect of our chart. We're moving away from how it manifests in harmoniously or in balance. One second. a socket and it's too far away. It's too far away. Okay, we'll finish by then. I'm not worried. You understand what I'm saying? Message from your south node, be it Taurus or Scorpio. The lovers. You gotta let something go. And you gotta remember where your soul came from. It goes back a very long time. It goes back a long way. At one point in your life, you made a choice to focus on survival. And that's when Scorpio and you just flourished. Good. Now you gotta make a choice. To focus on life and creation. And for that, you gotta step out of the safe tower. Rapunzel needs to jump out She's been there this entire time, not because she couldn't go out. She's been there because she was very, very manipula manipulated. You are manipulating yourself to stay stuck because it's safe. Message from your North Node. The Magician. What will happen if you combine life and death within you? What will happen if you combine the power of the Scorpio and the love of the Taurus. You'll be able to rule in a way that gives everyone and yourself. There will be no win and lose. This is so talented. Your North Node tells you, use it all. In joy, in way of joy, not in way of fear. You are safe now. You've mastered all the elements. Use them. No, don't give too much and, and, and forget yourself. Don't only take and forget others. The thing is, you already know how to do it. But this part of you tells you, no, 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 you don't really know. Let me let me handle it. The unified integrated aspect of the north and south node message. The Hierophant. I mean, look at this. The truth is in both sides. You have a home that has room for both.
and you have the power once you integrate those you're very close to integration once you integrate those you have the power to lead the masses you can trust the system now Taurus you can trust the system now Scorpio and as I say it you cringe both the Taurus and the Scorpio are like well religion burned us when I was good and healing and loving they accused me for being an evil sorcerer so I became an evil sorcerer so I could stay alive but I was never an evil sorcerer I was a sorcerer all right but if no one had tried to hurt me, I wouldn't have to hurt anyone. So how can you say that I'm evil if I just want to stay alive when someone else tries to kill me first? If it's self-defense, while the heart wants to stay pure and true, But I'm forced to do what I have to do to protect my knowledge, to protect my love, to protect my children, to protect my life, to protect my family, to protect my community, to protect the world. I'm not telling you to let go of your power. I'm telling you to work with it with trust as opposed to with fear. Because you're in a position now. It will put if you do that, it will put you in a very powerful position that is based in truth and love, where you can help a lot of people. Message from spirit for all of this. The world. I mean, look at this, all major arcanas. Lovers, magician, hair found the world. So the seekers out there who have the access of the Taurus, Scorpio. First of all, I mean much respect there is something about you that is masterful and powerful and true and loving and the spirit is acknowledging that and you have made a major major um, accomplishment you've gone through so 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 much you're ready you're ready this is like you're as ready as can be do not fear. I'm just looking at it a little longer. the world universe spirit wants to put you in charge secret they want to put you in charge consistently show that you still know that you know how to still maintain your power however use it wisely does that make sense and then you will be place on a pedestal I'm not kidding this is a major leadership position I don't know what you do this is this could be being world-renowned some of you can can become in a very very um, prominent key positions that can affect a lot of people Kings can fall and kings can rise at your point of a finger. Like your word is going to be Reward is going to be the word. That's what I was going to say. Sorry. Now, 
what kind of energy work and spiritual work, it's not spiritual homework, you can go and undergo a message from spirit to help all of this happen. Once I turn this around, just so you note, I will tell you about it, I will explain. I will also, in case you want to know more and have it with you, the knowledge, I will also link the class to the specific class, to the specific card from my Tarot Masterclass Bunkai below. You can have it separately, you don't have to have the entire course, although you could. And learn the energy work and the spiritual work that I have to say about this card. It would be very helpful for your process of unification. And this is great. You, you really want to go through this. Okay. Also, I made a special project called Karmic Shift and Liberation. There's a video for each of the signs for your karmic placements to help you elevate and relieve your karma. This could be very, very helpful for the integration of your nodes. Because it's usually the karma that is pulling in either direction. Okay. So I will link below the Karmic Shift and Liberation from Vimeo, both for Taurus and Sagittarius. But if you want to watch your karmic placements, Saturn, um, Pluto, 8th house, etc., Black Moon, Lilith, Chiron, whatever, um, feel free to have them. However, if you want to have all the signs, if you want to watch all the Karmic Shifts and Liberation, check out Patreon, because over there you have them all for unlimited streaming. Oh my goodness. I mean, <laughs> this is classic. This is classic. This is amazing. The lovers. So this is where you choose a path. Back to the Garden of Eden. Where you come from. No, no, I'm sorry. Wh who you are. Because you have Taurus here, right? Taurus is the Garden of Eden. And this is a wonderful symbol of unification because even though this is separation, it's when Adam and Eve were separated, where the snake came between them. Now I'm, I'm only, you know, mimicking the, the archetype from the Bible, but I don't I don't look at it like that. You can watch my a uh, short video on the 13th element playlist um you know the truth about the garden of eden or something like that adam got dumped by both even lilith the the divine feminine i forget how i called it but watch it just so you know what i truly think but anyway this is symbolic you have the power to bring the collective back to source remember the life and death access. So we need you to do this. I believe in you. Yes, you can. Thank you for being here. I love you. I'm proud of you. And I'll see you in the next one.